Hi everyone and welcome to this week's episode of the Archie Science Show. This week we're continuing the topic of magnetism without focusing on electromagnets. Last week we looked at how a permanent magnet, such as this, which is a bar magnet, can be used to attract a magnetic material, such as iron, steel, cobalt or nickel. With a permanent magnet, the magnetic field is always present, so the force causes something to attract or repel from something else. However, permanent magnets can't be switched on or off. This is why we use an electromagnet. If a current flows around a coil of wire, called a solenoid, a magnetic field is produced. We can use this to make an electromagnet. We need three things. You need a battery, which is the source of the current. You need a wire to coil it around. And you need a core. For this, you can use either a, ma a magnetic material, such as iron or steel. When we look at electromagnets, we're going to start off with the core. So this is a solid structure, which is often magnetic, which you're then going to wrap a wire around. This wire is then going to be attached through a battery or a cell. So we've got the three key parts. We've got the core, which can be made of a, of a magnetic material such as iron or steel. We've got the wire, which is wrapped around the core and the battery. Since an electromagnet involves a current flowing through it from a battery, you can use this to turn, turn the electromagnet on or off. The diagram that we've got on the whiteboard now shows an electromagnet when the current is off. When we turn the current on, the current flows through the wire. When the current starts to flow through the wire, it's got a magnetic field around it. We looked last week about how to plot magnetic field lines in permanent magnet. This is similar in an electromagnetic, however the magnetic fields are circular. The magnetic field around a single loop isn't very strong normally, but if you wind lots of loops together to make a coil, you produce a solenoid. When we start to flow a current through this, this is when we produce an electromagnet. So far we've looked at three things. We've looked at the three key components, the core, the wire, and the thing that's providing the charge. How the charge flows around, a, around the electromagnet, and the magnetic field lines that it produces. With a permanent magnet, the strength is fixed. But with an electromagnet, you can change the strength of it. You can do this in three ways. The first way, you can change the core. Something like iron is really easy to magnetise, but it loses its magnetism quickly, whereas steel is more difficult to magnetise, but it keeps its magnetism for longer. Another way you can do this, you can increase the number of coils. And finally, you can increase the current being supplied by the battery or the cell. Those are the three ways to increase the strength of an electromagnet. Electromagnets are used in many different scenarios. They are used because you can turn them on or off and you can change the strength of them, the strength of them as well. Some of the examples of where you can use them, you can use them in an electric bell, you can use them in a circuit breaker, which is something you'd find in your house, and you can use them to pick up cars in the scrapyard. You can do this because you can create a really strong magnet and you can control it with more ease. In a scrapyard, you've often got a car that needs to move from one place to another. Cars are made, cars are made of magnetic materials, so this is a really easy way to transport them. Here we've got our car, and here we've got our electromagnet. The electromagnet can be positioned above the car, and then switched on to pick the car up. Since the car is made of a, of, a of a magnetic material, the electromagnet can pick it up and move it along. Once the car is in the desired position, all you would have to do is turn the electromagnet off and the car would fall to the floor. The strength of the electromagnet can be changed, as well as having the ability to switch the electromagnet on and off. This is done by breaking the circuit that produces a magnetic field. 
Thanks for watching this week's lesson on electromagnets. We've looked at how electromagnets are made, how you can vary their strength and some of their uses as well. I hope, I hope you've enjoyed this week's lesson and I'll have a great week and I'll see you all next week.